Welcome back to interview preparation guide. We're focusing on search algorithms today. Previously, we have talked about binary search, but today's focus is hashing. The first part will just focus on explaining the concept behind hashing. Uh, we will give out the key runtime complexities of addition or deletion into a hash table, how the hash function plays a critical role in proper functioning of hashing and why would you do rehashing and what is the complexity of that. Uh, from part two onwards we will focus on problems that require hashing to solve them. Those are all search problems but by hashing uh, we will illustrate those problems and those are problems that typically show off uh, on our interviews. So let's start uh, with uh, hashing concepts. Hashing is uh, pretty much another searching technique and it's qualitatively pretty different than binary search that you have seen before. So the idea of hashing is to store the keys in an array say the length of the array is m and there are two parts to the array this is the key this is the data hashing can also be looked upon as a mapping problem so basically you are mapping from one set of data into another set of data typically a smaller set of data so hash tables say this one represents the hash table and say the number of elements here is m and we have another universe from which we are mapping and that's a larger universe okay and say the number of elements there is m so by mapping I mean I take a data here okay and I map it into the other set so I take something from here and map it here and the function that maps the data from the bigger set to the smaller set is called a hash function the quality of the hash the function the performance everything depends on the hash function as well as the size of the hash table now to illustrate, let's assume that the elements in this set are all integers. And just for simplicity, just pick a few random integers. 10, 130, 31, 46, and say 73. Okay. And for simplicity, let's assume that the hash function is simply a modulo function, okay? Say modulo 4. If it's mod 4, that means you're basically dividing these elements by 4 and the remainder is the key. So let's see what happens if we divide 10 by 4. In that case, the remainder is 2. So this is your key and the data you store here. So this is the entry that will be stored in the hash table. Now, since we are doing just mod four, there will be only four possible entries, zero, one, two, and three, okay? Now let's see what happens if we divide 130 by four. So again, the remainder is two. So that's an example of collision. So a collision, is the case when two elements gets mapped to the same key and if that happens we'll have to create a linked list with respect to the data field now see what happens with 13 so 31 you get 3 46 get two again so 
there's a lot of collision with that so you get another entry here which is 46 and for the remaining one we have just one and this is the hash table so that's how the hash table is created now zeroth entry is never occupied so that's left out now let's see what are the complexities of these algorithms now what is the insertion time insertion in a hash table is the beginning just to get the key that is the constant time because hash function is a constant time operations however if you're trying to insert something which already has a long list you may have to traverse the list so that has some complexity associated with it and the load can be determined as this where n is this number and m is this number so that is the order of 1 plus n by m similarly for deletion getting the key is a constant time operation but reaching the right element to delete is n by m so n by m is based on the load of the hash table now what happens if if your n is very large than m then you have n by m very large than 1 so that's a poor hash table because then all the operations the insertion the deletions these are all going to be dominated by this n by m factor so those are not constant times anymore so the, the main purpose of doing hash table is to do constant time insertion and deletion so that's not happening so we need to increase the size of the hash table so typically it's been shown that on average if you increase the size of the hash table by two on intervals at an amortized level that gives you the optimal performance now let's see what can we do if the hash tables the load gets increased a lot if load is increased then we have to do something called uh, we call this uh, this concept is the concept of rehashing so what we're doing here is rehash rehash means you have a small table here okay and this was your hash table and this was using the hash function h and now you go to a second hash table here which is potentially a bigger hash table because that's the whole purpose and this is using a different function say h bar okay now this hash function was not doing pretty good because it was having collisions and stuff so maybe this has a lot of long linked lists at those element positions so that's why we had to do rehashing okay so this is what is the complexity of rehashing we have to do it for every element so we have to go over all the keys and then we'll have to go over all the elements so this is order of n plus m this is the complexity of rehashing now if you go back to the other list after rehashing the goal is the linked list at the data positions would be smaller in length so overall you'll end up with a very small list here so or typically you just have the data fields and stuff so then on complexity of operations here will will be much better so because the n by or the, yeah the n by m factor in this case goes down so insertion deletions they become a better functions because they are much closer to being constant in those cases so that pretty much explains all the key concepts of rehashing now if we go back we should describe that the key one of the key things here is the hash function the choice of the hash functions should be such that we don't have collisions so 
we want to reduce the collisions okay we want to keep the lists as small as possible and that will improve your uh, this times the insertion and deletion times and a lot of research being done on finding out good hash functions now how often should you do rehashing is another key point so because rehashing has a high complexity you shouldn't be doing it very often but you can do rehashing on a different thread okay now you can have threaded model and use a different thread for rehashing so when you are doing rehashing you are not altering or incurring additional overhead for your hash table so that pretty much concludes uh, this presentation on hashing and in the next part we'll get back with problems and those are the problems that you typically encounter during interviews those are related to search and can be solved by hash table have a nice day